Hey guys, today I wanted to test how close my Captor 8 is to my real cab. My real cab is an Angle 4x12 with Mojotone BB30V speakers in 8 ohm. And I have the Captor in 8 ohm. Not V30s though, but V30 type speakers, so maybe it's close enough for you. So uh, what I did was I um, created an IR with a Class D power amp of my setup. Then I recorded a DI track, reamped this DI track through my amp and real cap, then uh, connected my captor and reamped it again with the same amp settings. And this is how different this sounds. <laughs> Pretty close, but the captor is a tiny bit thinner, sounds a bit more scratchy. So what I did is try to compensate with an EQ, and this is what it sounds with the EQ. <laughs> And now I can't hear a difference anymore. It sounds pretty much the same to me. So let's see what I did. So I did a boost at 110 hertz, 4 decibels, Q of 4, a cut of at 350 minus 1 dB, Q of 1, and a tiny high shelf minus 1 dB, 18K at Q1. Let's listen again and watch the analyzer to see how close we got. <laughs> Yeah, so we got really close, I think it's pretty much spot on in the uh, most range. There's just a little bit below 35 in the rear cap, that's probably won't matter, it was really quiet. And some something up top, I think it was uh, starting at around 19k where there was a little bit more. So this shouldn't matter at all and I couldn't hear it, so I think the settings I got got me pretty much to my real cap as close as it can be. Let's listen again. <laughs> Yeah, so as a side note, I tried the Sur Re Reactive IR loader and the uh, Driftwood uh, Reactive IR. Uh, and they all sounded also pretty different to my real cap. I think even more different than the captor. So I think the captor for, for the money is just unbeatable. Just with these small tweaks, it, it sounds pretty much like my real cap. So yeah, the Sur... Uh, reactive load had a lot more mid-range missing. I think they modeled probably a different speaker. I read somewhere that they went for greenbacks and the driftwood, I don't know what they modeled, but that had uh, a lot of top end missing compared to the captor and I think the captor is pretty close and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I hope this helps some of you maybe add these settings to your tracks to your uh, neural amp modeler profiles or whatever to get a bit closer to the real thing. So take care, bye.